Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Kick to the Callback. The bike, and I welcome you guys to this fresh new video, in which I will be showing you how to deal with tank top karma, guys. So first things first, let me let me tell you something about the uh, account itself. So the account is um, that I'm playing on is King Kong, just like my name. <laughs> it's Diamond Four, and we are playing top lane, as I said, against the Karma. These are the roots, by the way. So we are running domination not um, the conqueror and on the second tree you can see we are running uh, inspiration and let me actually pause that right here so I can explain you some uh, some more stats so you can see the second tree is inspiration and we are running biscuit delivery and time warp tonic however you want to pronounce that shit and this actually um, gives you some more healing out of your biscuit delivery and all out of your potions so the goal is usually guys usually if you play top lane you just want to survive the lane you want to build against um, the ADC, the enemy ADC, not against your lane opponent, okay? I see this so many times, guys. Don't build against the lane opponent, which can be Urgot, which can be Pantheon, or any other tank or top lane bully. You don't want to build against specific against these people, no. You want to build, just farm your fucking shit off, okay? Just farm all the CS and build uh, the items you need to one shot the ADC. This is usually goal, okay? Now, uh, if the enemy picks Karma, the situation changes a little bit. You can play a little bit aggressive, okay? And I want to show you how to play actually aggressive against Karma because once they pick an AP top lane, you can change your playstyle because Wukong becomes more useful, you know what I'm saying? But in case they picked a top lane tank or a top lane meta bully a top lane meta champion you want to stay back you would just want to farm don't go into these 1v1s you just want to wait for a jungler and then you can start to actually um, apply some damage on the lane opponent if it's a tank or whatever meta top lane then you want to do it like that but if you are facing something like a top lane karma that people like to pull off lately I'm just going to show you how to deal with, against that, okay, guys? So, I got a 60% win rate. You can say 60%, 59.3% win rate on top lane and 59.2% uh, win rate on the mid lane. Now, if you play mid, that's completely different. You want to play another play style, but this I will do in uh, another video about that. So, for the top lane, Wukongs, um, you want to... As I said, you want to stay back and just farm and just try to survive the lane. So, if the enemy, just like this enemy here, picks the top lane karma, tank top karma, you want to do it a little bit differently, guys. And I'm going to show you how. So, look at that. So, you, you step on the lane. She was uh, leashing, giving the Shaco a pull. And this is very important that you kill the first minion because this gives you the minion advantage, okay? Whenever you go into these... Um, into these kind of fights, traits, you can easy, you can easy um, um, kill him and apply more damage than he can because you got more that you got more minions on your side, right? So let me hit the play button. So me pretty much just farming up these minions, and I actually did a little bit. Of, it's not really a mistake. So now you can see. See, I got more minions than, than he he does. And this is why I jumped on him, okay? And also, you want to always jump on the people if they use their abilities. So let's go back and let me show you what I'm talking about. So I was kind of hoping that this guy is going to use his ability on the minions. But instead, he was just auto-attacking. I was waiting for that. And there, and there is the ability. Did you see that? She just used the ability on these minions to farm them up. And then this is the perfect timing to actually jump on uh, the enemy. So, let me sum this up for you guys. You want to trade with the enemy if A, if they use their ability. And B, if you got simply more minions on your side than the enemy does. Then you want to jump on these people and apply damage and use your abilities against these people. So there it is, just formed up the minions, applying damage. And also another thing you want to do, guys, can I see the, yeah, it's over there. So you want to walk and apply these order attacks 
until your um, E ability is about to come up again. Okay, this is how you want to do it. So you want to E on someone. Just, just, just go back. I want to. I want to point that out, guys. I'll make it really slowly and clear for you guys, so you can do it. You can do the same. Okay. So here is the ability. There is the farm. So now, once you have just um, eat on someone, you don't want to just apply uh, some auto attacks and proc the electrocute and then then just back. No, you don't have to because she got only two minions. This is why I'm telling you you need the minion advantage. Now you can stay here actually and apply more auto attacks on this uh, enemy. You see that? So let me slow it this, this down a little bit. So what I'm doing here is stepping this way and then auto attacking. There's the electrocute stepping, doing, doing another step, there's the auto attack. This is how you want to do it. Because the thing is, you want to get back your E. This is how, how long you want to chase this girl, okay? Look at that. Auto attack, and she's also auto attacking, and there is another, and there is another uh, auto attack by me. So what it does is, you just auto attack this this distance from here until here, and what it does is it actually um, reduces. You can say it not reduces really, really your cooldown, but you could, your E will come up again the second you are over here. And the second you're over here at this place, you can just E again on her. This is why I'm doing it, okay? So auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. your cooldown goes down. You come back and at this point, now she's auto attacking, she has only 200 HP. So I was waiting for my E and, uh, and, and, and to jump on her and then to ignite her, okay? This is why you just back in. So now the second I reach this place here, I can just E on her again and ignite her. So look at that. Three seconds to go. Now she's throwing her, uh, what's to call it? Okay, her ability. So look at that. The E is about to come up. So I reach this place. So I was waiting for that. Okay, and now I'm going back again into that because my E is now up again. See that? 200 HP. So you can E on that girl. Boom, auto attack, ignite. Okay, it's very important to ignite on on level one does only 72 damage so you wanna you wanna auto attack okay not only e and ignite you wanna e and auto attack and then ignite guys so there is the ignite and another auto attack so i needed to do that auto attack guys keep that in mind you need that auto attack because the ignite is not doing any damage and she flashed right there that's the first block guys okay this is how you want to do it against ap damage dealer on top lane or mid lane this is also for mid lane the same thing it's pretty much it's, it's easier on the top lane because the lane is simply longer you know it's from here till here so it's a little bit longer than the mid lane it's easier to do it on the top lane it's harder to do it on the mid lane because the mid lane is shorter but this is basically how you want to do it on the mid lane as well so you step on the lane let me sum this up guys again okay so you step on the lane okay you step on the lane you get this minion advantage by attack by killing some of these minions okay not too much though because you don't want to push it in okay so simply just kill one minion or two and then just go for the last hits okay by the time the enemy will be on the lane and and the enemy will also be auto attacking these people so it will reset it will kind of reset you know what i'm saying so the second the ap top lane uh, steps on the lane you want to E on this guy immediately, okay? Just like I did before. Okay, guys, so let me sum this up again, okay? So get the minion advantage. Um, jump on the enemy the second the enemy steps on the on the lane. And also, and also auto attack him until your E is almost about to come up, okay? Once it's up, you can just go back on her. On him and kill him okay do two auto attacks though if if the enemy has like let me go back if the enemy has like 200 hp you need to do two auto attacks guys because your auto attack does how much 90 damage so so now calculate if you do two auto attacks that's that's 180 180 damage you're doing on the, to her 
okay 180 damage so you kind of need these two auto attacks right there okay to uh, actually kill her with the ignite that's right guys okay so because the ignite only does 72 damage on level one so you want to do it guys okay you want to do these two auto attacks yeah that's it for this video guys hope you um find this useful <clears throat> this is how you want to treat uh an ap top laner this is only for ap though as i said at the at the beginning guys this is only for ap top laner if you are facing a meta champion a meta top lane champion you want to play it, you want to play it differently okay you want to play it safe just farm it up farm pray to the lord that your bot lane is not gonna feed the shit out of the game just farm it up guys get your items get your items you need to one shot that a, a enemy adc in this case it would be the the severe get these items and that's your goal don't build against the top lane champion don't build against them i repeat that shit all over again don't build against the top laner okay build against the enemy adc the only goal is the only goal is wukong because wukong is useless as beep is to one shot the AD, enemy adc that's the only reason for wukong okay this is why he is in this game because he's so useless you can't do shit with that game with, the, with that champion okay guys okay i don't want to make this video too long guys i hope you're gonna find that um helpful if you do so please tell me in the comment section because i would like to read from the people that actually find that helpful and that i can help with that video guys also hit the thumbs up share it with your people with your friends and um also leave the like subscribe arena of course and we're gonna see each other in the next video boys peace Girls. Wait.